ping command is basically used to test the network connectivity so you are going to type the command ping followed by the ip address once you type this that means you are going to test whether you are able to reach 192.168.1.10 you will be getting a reply of this sort that means these are the four packets that are received the sender has ping to the destination host 192.168.1.10 and it has received the reply from the destination four packets are received you can check here always it will be like this the ping statistics for this destination host packet sent are 4 received 4 lost is 0 that is 0 percent loss in the above case we have ping from the pc to a server so we are assuming that 192.168.1.10 is a server and we are trying to ping from this pc so this ping is typed from this pc ping 192.168.1.10 four data packets sent to server so these four packets are called as the echo request packet and then server will send those data packets to the to our pc and those packets are called as the echo reply packets so now this ping can happen over a lan or over an internet that means even you can ping a host from one network to the other network via lan or over an internet the very first example what i had shown here is a lan now let me show one example for the internet that means here i wanted to tell you even you can like you can ping from this pc1 to pc3 or pc4 or pc5 whatever name you want to give for this what exactly i wanted to tell is ping can be used on a lan or over an internet now let us see what does the reply if we receive the reply that means you are receiving the four packets and if we don't receive the reply in this case when i say if we don't receive the reply it will be like this request timed out request timed out request timed out and request timed out so you can just check the difference between the earlier output and this output here what has happened is packet sent are four received is equal to zero hundred percent loss so that means the ping command which you typed from your pc to the server has given a reply as request timed out what does this particular sentence request timed out means if we don't get reply and if we get request timed out then it means two things one is the server is powered down or the server is up and running but it is using a firewall which is blocking the request made by our computer so you need to check the firewall settings in your pc if you have tried blocking from this particular ip address then it you are not able to receive the output from the server 192.168.1.10 see normally we have we are expecting four packets so that means from the destination host we want to receive four packets but sometimes only three out of four are received or two out of four this means that there is a packet loss packet loss can occur here in this case due to congestion in the network also there is another possibility for the packet lost the modem may not be working properly let us see one scenario here wherein i have shown two networks network 1 and network 2 pc0 is in network 1 and it wants to ping pc1 which is in the same network so and in the next case what i have done is a pc1 is in network 1 and it wants to ping pc2 which is in network 2 so these two cases i have written over here and now one more possibility is the ping command also gives one more type of output till now what we have seen is using the ping command the first possibility is that you will be getting the reply like this reply from the host reply from the host that means four times four packets are received from the destination host this is one type of okay that means your connectivity is perfect and server is reachable in the other case what will happen is you may receive an output of request timed out so what does request timed out means in this once again there are two different possibilities the server is down okay or sometimes what happens is server is up and running but because of firewall settings it is blocking the request made by the pc now there is one more possibility the output can be destination host unreachable so this one i will take it as the third type of output for the ping command now what is the difference see normally when we are not able to reach the server we are getting request timed out 
then suppose if you are getting the output destination host unreachable then what is the difference between these two in this case destination host unreachable the router is not knowing the route to forward the packets to the server in this case the server is up and running okay but the router which has to forward the packet is not knowing the path or it is not knowing the route to forward the packet to the server so this normally happens when you want to ping over an internet so ping can also be used to test whether the network interface card is working properly or not for that you have to type ping followed by 127.0.0.1 so this ip address is the loopback address it will it will be sent to the pc itself so if you get the reply successfully then your network interface card is functioning otherwise it is not functioning properly dns resolution issues can also be tested using the ping command how just type the command ping followed by the host name or the server name in this case we are typing amazon.com if you get a reply that means four times the four packets are received then definitely it is trying to uh, perfectly map this server name that is the host name or the domain name what we call see this can be what it can be a host or a server that's why in general we have to use the word domain name so this mapping of domain name with the ip address is done successfully and you are able to get the output suppose in case if we get a message cannot find host amazon.com or google.com then there is a dns issue that means it is not going to find out the mapping of the host name or the domain name with the ip address that time what you can do is whether there is a dns issue or not further that can also be tested just type now instead of the domain name type the ip address of the server itself suppose let us assume 8.8.8.8 is the ip address for the google server then you type ping followed by the ip address of the google server if the reply is successful then it can ping ip address but not the host names that means there is a dns issue better to check the dns settings of your pc fine in the pc you will be able to see its preferred dns server the ip address of that will be included as well the ip address of the alternate dns server will be included just check whether these two are available or not in your pc for what dns settings to check the dns settings so finally what is the conclusion or the summary of this video ping command can be used to test the connectivity of the network definitely that is one thing then you can check whether your network interface card is working or not then you can also check using the ping command the dns issues so here i have explained the ping command in detail and as well i'll be explaining a very simple experiment using the cisco packet tracer to check the connectivity between two hosts using the ping command hope this session is useful to you all if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care